¡Arriba! ¡Abre los ojos! Buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <clears throat> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me. I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one else will buy me a drink, I will go. Die, dark idiot.
sir. Morning. Beard sure looks ready for a trim. So, what do you need? Whiskers are all the fashion now, from what I hear. Now that isn't half bad, huh? Mighty fine if I do say so. That's, uh, looks pretty good. Please, tell your friends about it. Thanks. All right, boy. What Come here! Come here and buy my book. My book will change your life. My book will make you who you want to be. Rich! Rich is who you are, and rich is who you shall be. But you have to read the book. I'd hate to keep you from whatever it is you need to get back to. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. Do you want to be happy, sir? Then you need to be rich. And the only way, the easiest way, the best way to get rich is to read about it in my book. This is the veritable Bible of success, my friends. This book will make you the person you have always wanted to be, a rich bully. Oh, my Lord, no. Damn. Damn. Cuidado. 
Out of the damn way! There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is the barest woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? 
couple of people have taken to grave robing in this cemetery. Mm. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Okay, boy. Let's go. Easy, boy, you're okay. Come on, then. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Keep looking.
be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it.
What's your problem? Hey, do you need something? Let's get this done. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Me. Bronte. You're for right. everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Miss Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. <sighs> Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Let's go! Get a move on! What are you riding off for? All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they... Do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. Do you know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs, one for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Son, everything. We got him, Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail, 
Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Tahiti, dear boy, Tahiti. If you say so, <laughs> mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. The time I always hang. Oh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. 
I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Oh, was you scared? Look after that kid. Absolutely. Oh, I will. He's a brave boy. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Miss Grimshaw. Let's leave him play a minute. Chop, chop, Miss Jones. Oh, once I was a maid oh, down the main lane. My master used to feed on me. My, my missus did the same. To learn one more. Oh, I need the one that hurt me. He asked me for a the light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it was warm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing, Homeboys, where I want to be. Homeboys, with the girl and I. You're in a good mood. You know, boys. Nobody ever going to take him again. I swear. So, so good to have you back. I was thinking. Thanks, Maybe Uncle it would be Arthur. a little easier for me to keep it. And see a smile on your mama's on face again. We all stay together. You know. Yeah, yeah, nothing makes a difference. Look around you. Ain't nothing. You was born, you die. In between, you do what you do. Take this, darling, for the damage I've done. Nine months from now, you'll have a daughter or a son. And if it be a daughter, nap the darling on your knee. And if it be a son, send the bastard off to sea. With that little ribbon tucked and hat in that cold and navy blue. Let him climb the rigging like his daddy climbed up you. But I think I know what that'll be like. Come on, Kieran, join in. Oh, uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. Suit yourself, then. See it for what the hell it is.
friends. My loved ones. A clan. Here's a real clan. We are gonna leave this place. And we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia. The real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's You okay, Reverend? I am just partaking in a little doze. That's what you call it. You all right, Jose? I'm very all right. Oh, talk, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Oh, this... Just like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Oh. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. You all right? <coughs> I'm fine. Days will get you singing. Oh, you don't want to hear that, I promise. You going to get up?
I'm gonna go back to sleep. <sighs> what, Arthur? I'm only kidding around. Just stop being an idiot. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur... I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Always good to see you. God, I need a drink. Is Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. 
Well, just keep your head down. Sure, Arthur. There he is. Oh, God, stay away from that whisk. Morning, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were fish. Anyway, talking to folks disappear. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> Ah! 
It's okay, mm -hmm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that <sighs> bastard. <sighs> All right, I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Don't let him get away. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. You don't know who you're dealing with. Go on, rope that bastard. 